Hello everyone, welcome to Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. Today we're playing A Call of Cthulhu. We're trying to find our way into Warehouse 36. Cat tried to stab us, and then she kicked my balls into my abdomen. Um, so that was bad. But we're going to talk to some more people. I see some guys over there. This sad sack sitting over here. What's your deal? What's wrong with you, dude? It's going to be okay. Listen, times are tough, but you get killer chops and sweet overalls. It's going to be fine. They're there. Okay, gentlemen. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Uh, I'm, I'd never have done... Wait, who's St. Brendan? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. <laughs> He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. I didn't see the statue. Dark water. Uh. Where are these guys keeping guard? behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. Scum. From whom, They're I wonder. Enjoying their product. They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. I don't know about the island. We know who Cat is. Uh, is this where you live? Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. You don't have any work? Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Constructive. Well, St. Brendan. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? <laughs> you wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Same no, 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 no. Protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Language. I'm kidding. All right, great. Well, uh, who's Cat? Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on. Hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Okay, mum's the word. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Um... What is the statue? Is that the end of the jetty? Okay. Hello, St. Brendan. That is your real name. I start drunkenly interrogating him. What's in here, Brendan? What? Saint I'm going to fail this. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. <laughs> That's the language, dude. You know it. I know it. Audience knows it. Let's just call it for what it is to have some respect for that, all right? What's up, dude? Where are you? Where do you think you're going? You a cop? What are the police doing here? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Tourist? What do you know about the Hawkins case? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. 
He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Mm. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Okay. You again. I told you to beat it. No, you didn't. No need to get worked up. Right? I wanted to ask about the warehouse, but I guess this guy is giving me all the information I could have hoped for. Silas. I don't know who Silas is. Could be a caretaker. Some sort of employee of the Hawkins family. Or their doctor. Or their lawyer. Or their spot hidden check. Show me something. Come on, baby. What's this? Oh. <laughs> I bet that you hit them somewhere in How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. <laughs> and with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. <laughs> What a weird thing to like, just be so adamantly, um, corrective about. <laughs> it's a stiletto, you idiot. It's, it's a late 14th century Italian stiletto. <laughs> With a gold inlaid hilt. And a gemstone pommel. <laughs> Order now. <laughs> Call this number now. You'll get it for, get it for seven easy payments in 1999. These guys are just running a QVC channel. I'm gonna let them run it. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Oh, I never talked to you guys. Do you like our song? I do. It's great. <laughs> We're true sirens. Surely we are. may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. I can see that. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Hmm. What is the song? I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Whoa. We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. <laughs> you guys ate a deep one, didn't you? <laughs> end of whaling. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. It is very sad but true that um, many types of whales that were really um, sought after during the whaling era are now extinct and many species of whales were uh endangered for the longest time i think i think many of them still are whaling was an incredibly lucrative industry it was basically oil mining for that era as a matter of fact as i mentioned in the last episode whale blubber was used as a fuel for lanterns and other things so kind of literally the oil industry but people made all kinds of money, and uh, Massachusetts was at the forefront of, of that industry, for sure. All right, let's ask about the history of the Hawkins family. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill. We're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking out, you see! <laughs> it's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. Okay. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I don't know how much information we're actually getting from conversations like this. 
One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We return right after. It's just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. She is ruthless. Um, I don't really want to talk to her again, but there goes. Hey, what's up? Remember me? You like me yet? You kicked me in the nuts last time we talked? Yeah, you hey, remember. Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. You kicked <laughs> <laughs> I've got them too, but you don't right. hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that, if I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I was looking for a badass lady to step on me. Uh, I don't think lying to her is smart but she owns the hawkins warehouse right so if we tell her that we're here investigating the death of sarah hawkins and her family she might clam up but lying is so dangerous and i don't know how to get any more information about hawkins case if i lie and say i'm like a press or whatever here to do something else i was gonna tell her the truth i'm investigating the deaths of the hawkins family it's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Well, okay, so she knew we were going to be lying anyway, because she acknowledged that we were telling the truth, so she knew already. You know what? I need help to get, in, get into the warehouse. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason. That yeah, I exactly. That's why I'm asking about it. Are you pulling my leg? No. But I've taken that. What do you mean? No, I'm not. I'm very serious. The whole family died in a fire. And I've got reason to believe that there's still more to be said on the subject. Well, I see you're serious. Yeah, I am. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. That's how you do it. Sounds That's how you me. do it. I'm not finished. If I do oh. that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. What? No. I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you. You'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Yeah, sure. I do. Yep. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Sure. Sure. Follow me. Nobody yep. questions your authority here. God, you walk slow. So slow. Stood up to you. That damn <laughs> Sorry, this is making me dizzy. I just he's just walking so slowly, I'm getting bored. Oh my god. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Alright, well. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Alright, cool. We made it into the warehouse. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. Alright. the connection between this place the Sarah Hawkins case. What? Reconstruction. To enter reconstruction scene, hold both buttons. What? Who has enough money to buy painkillers but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. It looks bad. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Le petit Parisien. 
Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? What are you doing? I think we're done here. Uh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Um, let's team up. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. <laughs> Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. That was easy. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Even if I failed to check, he still helps. That's easy. God damn it. Her again. Baker. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. <laughs> Let me you knee them. <laughs> too fat to see them down there. Oh! Are you? Come on. I think he kicks her on the balls. Smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay. okay. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. You freaking let me in Is there. Is it far, this mansion? It's just at the end of the pier, and he pushes us into Look the water. <laughs> at the top of the ridge. Oh boy. That's not Building. scary. That's the Hawkins mansion. That's where the Come vampire on. lives. Got some driving to do. <laughs> okay. Chapter three, baby. We made it. A voyeur. Oh, yeah, there is. There's some pervert in the woods. Look at that face. What was that face? It's like confused, disgusted by something at the same time. Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. Looks inviting. This doesn't look anything like the pictures on the Airbnb website. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Not the mansion burnt in a fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? Yep. The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough. I don't even know who he is or where he is or what he's doing. Mansion, or do you have other questions? I got lots of questions. Now, you're not the first to talk about Winchester. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he 
He lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Mm. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I mean, anything I should be wary of? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You know the place well. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. What do you mean? That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. All right, so he's a good cop. Else? All right. Uh, let's do it. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. That's a good idea. I appreciate that. Why not? You can help. Right. Sure can. Let's go. All right, we're not going to go into the creepy house alone. That's making me a little more confident. That'll do it for this episode of Call of Cthulhu. Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. Hit that subscribe button for future episodes. I'll see you in the next one. Take yourself in the meantime and peace out.